Welcome back. Today's lesson is about the past continuous. The past continuous is one of those verb tenses that is used uh, very often by English speakers. It is for an action that happens over a period of time when another action happens in the middle of that action or at the end of that action. Let me give you some examples using three words. The first word I'm going to use is when. So, when, let me start over here, when I was doing my homework, when I was doing my homework, And because I started with the when, I'm going to have a comma here. This is called a dependent clause. And the kind of dependent clause it is, is an adverb clause. Because I'm starting with a time word here. When I was doing my homework, I got really tired. Really tired. Now let's look at what that looks like on a timeline. First of all, you'll notice I used the past continuous right here. What is the past continuous? It is the verb... Uh, be in the past tense, which is either was for I, or, or were for you and the others, you know what that is, was or were, depending on the subject, and the main verb with the ing on the end. And you've learned in other lessons that I've given that when you have an ing, that means the action is incomplete. So let's look at what this looks like on the timeline. I'll use blue on the timeline here. Here's the past, and here's the present, and here's the future. So this sentence would be represented like this. I was doing my homework, so there's the start of doing my homework. I'm continuing to... Now, all of a sudden, I'm getting really tired of doing my homework. So that would be a very fast action, and that's why I use the simple past right here. I got really tired. So the long action, the one that starts first, is the past continuous. I was doing my homework, so I'm doing my homework, and then I got really tired, so what did I do? I probably took a break, or maybe I went and watched TV, something like that. I wanted to do something different, so I could come back and finish my homework maybe later. So here's the continuation of that action, and maybe I finished and went to bed there. So this action here, the short one, the simple past, happens in the middle or at the end of an action. Sometimes it can finish that action. You don't want to go back and study again. So it finishes the action. There are three words that you use at the beginning here. I'll identify these in green. Oh, let that fall. Okay, I'll identify these in blue. When is one of these words. When can go, goes in front of the past continuous, but the interesting thing about when is that it can also go before the simple past. You can say, when I was doing my homework, I got really tired. But you can also say, I was doing my homework when I got really tired. You can put the when in front of the simple past. The next word is while. W-H-I-L-E, while. I'll put that in a nice blue box like I did the other one. So, a good one. While I was taking a shower, a shower, while I was taking a shower, again, I have my dependent clause first in the sentence, so I'm going to put a comma there. While I was taking a shower, I dropped the soap. S-O-A-P. So I dropped the soap. Here again, what we have? We have a was taking. There's my past continuous. That's the long action. I was taking a shower. And then I dropped the soap. Dropped is going to be the simple past. Uh, notice here I have a double P. I also have a lesson on when to double the consonant at the end of a word. That's a double P on dropped. So while is always used before the past continuous. You can't say while I dropped the soap. You cannot use while before a simple past. The last word is as. And as is used just the, exactly the same way that while is used. It can only be used in front of a past continuous, or the ing. So, while I was falling asleep, as I was falling asleep, comma, I remembered to set the alarm. Because <laughs> I want to wake up in the morning. I remembered to set the alarm. So it can wake me up in the morning and I can get on with my day. 
Okay, remembered here is in the simple past because that's the past action, just like that. So I was falling asleep and then I remembered to set the alarm, so I had to wake back up and set the alarm. Was falling asleep is the longer action. Remembered is in remembered. Whoops, look at that. I misspelled remembered. Remem. <laughs> Rebird. Oh, that's so funny. Remember. That's better. I remember to set the alarm. All right. Now, there are some interesting cases where you use the past continuous. Uh, and it doesn't have anything to do with the words when, while, and as, which I would say probably 80% of the time you're going to have the words when, while, and as. And while I'm on here, I want to show you something. Notice after all of these, I used a comma when the introduction used the words when, while, and as. In other words, when you had the dependent or adjective clause first and the independent clause second, I need to have a comma. However, you can put the independent clause first, and you can say, I got really tired when I was doing my homework. And if you do it that way, there's no comma after tired. You can also say, I dropped the soap while I was taking a shower. No comma after soap. So if I have the independent clause first and the dependent clause second, there is no comma. All of these examples had the opposite. They had the dependent clause first, therefore I need a comma. Now, for those other cases where you also use the past continuous, it's a case like, uh, I was going, I was going to go shopping, I was going to go shopping, but, I need a comma before but, because I'm going to have a new subject right here, I was going to go shopping, but, I, <laughs> but I, let me see, didn't, but I didn't go shopping. Why didn't I go shopping? Oh, for a number of reasons, but I didn't. You used was going, the past continuous, when you had a plan in the past. So I had a plan to go shopping, but I didn't do it. I was going to wash the car, but it started to rain. So I didn't wash the car, but I would use the past continuous to show that that was my plan at the time. I was going to go to bed early, but I wanted to watch TV. So I didn't go to bed early. So you use I was going to when you had a plan in the past, but you didn't do it. That's the first use of it, other than with when, while, and as. The second use is with the word always. The children were always now, where is the first part of the past continuous? We're always leaving their toys, their toys on the floor. The children were always leaving their toys on the floor. We're always leaving. We're always leaving. There's my past continuous because they did it again and again and again. I always had to tell them, Put your toys away, put them back in the toy box. But no, they left their toys on the floor all the time. So you can use the past continuous with the word always, and it means that you always did that. They, the children always did that thing. All right? Now, there is one last thing. Uh, with some verbs, you cannot use the uh, past continuous. These are verbs that are non-action verbs. And the three verbs that students most often get wrong are the verbs know. So don't say, I am knowing the answer. You say, I know the answer. Not I was knowing the answer, but I knew the answer. Just use the simple tenses with the verb know. Know, believe, I-E-V-E. -E. You don't say, I am believing you, or I was believing her. No, I believe you and I believed her. Just the simple forms, don't put the ing on believe. And then the last one you don't put ing on, actually there are many more, understand. But this is another verb that students often get wrong. So know, believe, and understand. Do not put ing's on the end of these verbs. I am understanding you, no. I understand you, or I understood you in the past tense. So no ing for these things. All right. 
Okay, uh, and that is today's lesson on past continuous. Bye for now.